Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great. And we, my friends, are playing some more Clash Royale. So, let's have a quick look and see what's in the shop. we got some wizards. Nothing really worth getting right there. We're going to go down here and we're going to go and request a few more Valkyries. And we're going to go and open up these chests. Now, as you guys know... Oh nice, a golem. Awesome stuff. Okay, um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to pause this for two seconds, guys, and come back in a sec. Okay, boys and girls, sorry about that. We're going to pause. Shouldn't have affected the actual game at all. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump straight into a little battle. Now, I haven't played for a day or so because of having problems with my internet. Um, so, I could be a little bit rusty because my phone's internet is too bad to actually... Oh, come on, a Sparky straight off the bat, are you serious? Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and do this over here. Let's do this over here. And then let's go ahead and do that and that. Nice. So, not too bad. So, he's using a Sparky with a what you call a sparky minor deck so now that we've got our um our valkyrie up and running i tell you what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down the elixir pump at the back again so obviously we're going to rotate through we're going to force him to do the same deal once again um so we shall okay well he's going to be putting down his giant so he's going to be trying to follow that up with his what you may call it so let's just go ahead and do this over here that's fine because we're going to get in and still do a fair bit of damage over there um with our valkyrie we're going to put down our barbs to go ahead and stop this he's not got his uh arrows anymore to stop our princess so we're going to go get a little bit of damage on him over here now he is probably going to kill the princess oh wow he didn't so let's go ahead and put this down here once again and put this down over here again. Force him to do something and he's not going to play his arrows this time. So that's pretty cool. We're going to put down these archers over here to pull over that miner. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And he's just wasted his miner this time. So this time we're going to go ahead and put down our musketeer once again. We're going to pull his arch he's a knight over here and then we're going to stop him from killing the knight over here like this okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to go and zap this over here like this we're going to go put down those barbs like this and we're going to put down that over there like so and then we're going to go do this like this and we're going to go put down this valkyrie as soon as that fires and then we'll go put down this over here. We'll put that down over here like this. And we'll put these down over here like this. And we'll set up a nice quick little push. But unfortunately he did have those arrows. So that's fine. Um, let's just go ahead and put down this over here like so. And we'll go put this fireball over here like this. We'll go put this over here like that. And this down here like this. And then we'll put down these goblins over here. And then we're going to go put down these barbarians. And followed by our princess over here. We're going to go and zap that wizard. The barbarians are actually going to go over to the tower. And while we're still focusing down on Elixir. We're going to go put down everything over the back here. Very nicely over here like this. We're going to go zap them over there like that. So we're probably not going to be able to actually uh, win this game. But that's okay because of the fact of all we're doing is basically we, we're just trying to defend that elixir pump. So as you can see over here, we're going to go and give him a little laughy face because he was pretty damn sure he was going to be able to win with his um what do you call it with his sparky giant deck um so as you can see we were able to just go and 
hold off for a draw there, which, you know, we're not really, we're not really looking for draws, but that's what this deck is kind of, oh, my days, okay, well, let's just go and do this and do this, um, he is going to have some stuff to obviously be able to come in and do some good work over there with, but that's fine, because we're just going to put down this princess over here, and she's going to do some good work for me. Um, and then this wizard over here, we're just going to drop these down on the wizard and we're going to take him out pretty easily. The princess is going to basically just stand there. The, oh nice, he's actually using a spawner with a royal, with a giant skeleton. So that's not too bad. Um, we should be able to pretty much overpower this deck actually. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this one. Before that guy charges, we're going to go put down this Valkyrie over here. And the Valkyrie with the princess behind should take care of that giant there once again. So all in all, not too bad. Uh, the princess is now going to get in, do a little bit of work. He's, I know what he's going to be doing. Um, but that's fine because what we're going to do is we're going to go pow and pow. So, not too bad, um, yeah, not too bad at all actually, um, we're gonna ignore that, uh, thingy-majiggy, I'm actually wanting him to put down something at the back so I can get some good value on the fireball, okay, well he's gonna be using a double spawner, so let's just go put down these archers here, and we'll put this princess over on the far side, um, so he's actually running a double spawner with the uh, Hujua over there. So let's just go ahead and put down these barbarians here. And that's going to be able to take care of that over there. We're going to just go ahead and zap this over here. And then as that giant skeleton goes down, we're going to go ahead and put down this Valkyrie here. We're going to put this over here. We're going to put this princess over here. We're going to come over here, and I'm not really sure how she was able to do that, but yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and do that over there. Let's put this over here, and we're probably going to lose this tower just because of the sheer fact of we can't really break through his spawner deck. Um, and that prince is obviously causing me a lot of problems. So let's just go ahead and do this over here because obviously we don't want to take too much damage um, and now we'll go ahead and put this down over here we'll put this down over here and he hasn't got that defense waiting for that goblin barrel if he doesn't play anything we're gonna go and put a well played um, because now we're we're very close we're very very close um, and we're just gonna go ahead and put these goblins down over here with a thumbs up baby there we go have it get it boy we knew that as soon as he decided to ignore that valkyrie goblins we knew it was game over because his deck was too expensive to actually play and defend us i'm sorry that i did go a little bit quiet but i was trying to concentrate slightly because even though his deck was very expensive it was very hard to counter with my deck um so I did go a little bit quiet because of concentrating, so I am sorry for that. But we were able to pull out that win, all because he decided to ignore that, what do you call it? So let's just go ahead and do this over here. And then we'll let that one hit the tower and we'll go ahead and put some uh, goblins on. Uh, I did want to put the Valkyrie down, but she was a bit too late over there. So let's just go ahead and do this and zap all of that over there. And those Barbarians should be able to get up and get some damage on the tower unless he counters with something backwards. Oh, okay. So not too bad. He went and put down the Fireball. So this time we're going to bring in the Valkyrie and we're going to go put down the... Uh, things right behind they're able oh nice they're actually able to survive the 
shots from the princess just that little bit so we're able to go in and get some good work over there and i tell you what we're going to do we're going to go put down these barbarians here we're going to go ahead and zap them so that the prince can only get a couple of hits and we're going to go put down our princess over here because he shouldn't fireball that because of what's actually going on over there so as soon as those come in we're going to once again put down this valkyrie put down our goblins and even though he's got those uh thingy majiggies coming in that's not too bad we're going to wait he's not going to play anything else so we're just going to go ahead and fireball them over there we're going to go and put down these archers over here to do some good work over here we're going to zap it just to make it take a little bit longer. He's probably going to be able to take this tower out. But that's what pretty much Royal Giant users do. They just go and spam everything on the old block. So let's go put down this princess over here. She's going to go and get those print, uh, thingy-majiggies over there. The Valkyrie's going to come in. The Fireball's going to go over there. And then that's going to be good enough to do some good stuff and things over here. Now, obviously, the princess is going to go over the back here. And we're actually going to be a little bit sneaky here, guys. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. He's not going to defend with the look of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, okay, he is going to defend, which is actually too late for him. Because he's going to go in with the push over on the other side. He's going to try drop down that uh, Valkyrie, uh, what do you call it? And that has just cost him a huge amount of elixir over there. So let's go ahead and put down this Valkyrie over here once again. And she should take out all of those barbarians over on that opposite side. We're going to go ahead and put down this um, zap over here and do this over here. Um, yeah, that didn't work. So, yeah, unfortunately, that Valkyrie didn't get in. Oh, nice, that Valkyrie managed to get in. Um, so, I think he might actually do enough damage to the tower. Yeah, he does. He doesn't do enough on it. Oh, my God. Whoa, well played, my friend. Look at that, 2 HP just because of that royal giant if it wasn't for that royal giant he wouldn't have done anywhere near as good as he did boys and girls but hey that's the way it is and we were able to come out victorious over the level nines and was there a 10 in there as well i don't know it's definitely level nines anyway anyway guys i really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please show some support and hit that like and subscribe for me especially if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe and we shall see you in the next video peace on the streets